There are only two places in the world where somebody could say, we, we wanted to keep it up so we could pick lane three. Here and Charlotte. When Danny's talking about slow it down, he's talking about the application of power out there on the racetrack. We get a little quiet moment. I'll uh, try to explain some of that if you're interested. Actually, I'll try to explain some of that. Uh, you can either choose to listen, or you can plug your ears and hum like a lot of people do when I talk, especially when I start singing. But anyway, Cruz Pedregon, lane number one. The makers, the fixers, the snap on Dodge two-time champion. That's Johnny Lindbergh in lane number two. And if you're saying to yourself, wait a minute, that's Johnny Lindbergh in lane... Yes, that's Johnny Lindbergh. The Bayesian Rupert themed car with Lucas Oil helping out as well. That is Jason Rupert's machine. He's had a lot of success in the Nostalgia Wars. Put this car together but was unable to get his licensing complete in order to run here at the four wide. So they called Johnny and said, you still got a fire suit? He said, yes I do and he's in the car. In lane number three, Robert Height, the Auto Club Chevrolet for Cornwell Tools. Peak Motor Oil, Jimmy Prox stands out in front. And over in lane number four, that would be the DHL. Coletta Motorsports Toyota. For Mobile One, for Dart and Sleeves. For Mac Tools, that is J.R. Todd. So we got a two-time champ in lane number one. We got a two-time alcohol champ in lane number two. And a two-time champ, Robert, in lane number three. And we got J.R. Todd, who's a funny car champion in his own right. Cruz, Johnny, Robert, and J.R. trying to advance to round number two. Oh, puff, pop, and check this out. It looked like three of them blew up. J.R. Todd gets the win at 3.95319. Robert Height, look at the Auto Club Chevrolet. That thing blowed the body half off of it, but he will advance. 3.98 at 311 miles an hour. Cruz's car popped down at the top end of the racetrack as well. Goes 428 at 283 miles an hour. And you saw Johnny Lindbergh. He was the first one to get in trouble. He goes 726 at 91 miles an hour. But when the Auto Club Chevrolet comes back, it's going to have a new skin on it because they done blowed that one up. Robert Height advances, J.R. Todd advances, and the Safety Safari descends on the racetrack all four lanes, checking out our competitors. You saw Robert just climb out of the top of that Auto Club Chevrolet, but that thing uh, right in the lights. I mean, Robert, 311 miles an hour, so it's not like it popped early. Off the starting blocks, there's boom for Cruz. And there is boom for Robert. Robert's car definitely looks like it got the worst of it. And we're going to take another look at it. Isolating on lanes three and four. Hey, from the credit where credit's due department, J.R. Todd an 045 reaction time. Cruz Pedregon an 051. Robert's car. That thing may have a cylinder out over on the left side. Looking at it from that angle, it's a little difficult to tell. But watch it right here. That is where that Chevy gets very unhappy. Buckled the body, tore the corner off of it. Fortunately for Robert, it was far enough down track that he is able to get across the line, and he will advance. Hey, you got to remember, it would be just as blowed up if he'd have lost. This way, they got about an hour to fix it. They could have had two weeks to fix it. They would rather do it in an hour. Believe me, they would much rather do that. The Auto Club team will get back there, and they'll get to thrashing on it, get a new body out for round at number two, and I promise you, they'll be back and they'll be ready. The Safety Safari are going to have to do a little work down there on the racetrack, including getting the cars clear and getting the track cleaned up. So it'll be a couple of minutes before we're ready to... Hey, how about Mr. 332 miles an hour coming back down on his scooter? It's not going 332 miles an hour now, but, well, you, you get the idea. He was going 332 when he went that way. He's going a little slower this way. Let's hear from his team driver, Top End, with NHRA and Fox's Amanda Busick. At the Top End, well, Robert, you experienced it firsthand. Did you have any warning ahead of that? Well, I figured it had a cylinder out because it really it wanted to go left on me. It was pushing me over to the wall. But, you know, I can only see J.R. Todd out here, and uh, you can't see much over here. you got to keep going. It's race day. 
not much I can do about it. We have a lot of work to do with this Auto Club Chevy, and I, I think we can get it back together and come back up here. It was running not that bad, but put a cylinder out, and that was probably what did it.